Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 17th, 2020. So, hey everyone, I want to make a really quick apology that um, I didn't uh, get a video done on Friday. Um, um, I've told you guys that I have been dealing with a little bit of a health issue. What it, what it is was a kind of an intestinal infection and it wasn't getting any, getting any better and I needed some rest. So <laughs> I spent um, Friday and this weekend resting a lot, feeling a lot better this morning. But I want to just say thank you to everyone and all the uh, the notes and stuff of concern and uh, I'm everything is okay. Um, I'm healing up. So um, thank you everyone. I truly, truly appreciate it. But with that, Friday we had just a little bit of back and forth. We continued this little consolidation. So what does that mean for this morning's market open? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle in. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning we have markets trying to show some bullishness this morning. We're looking for a little bit of a gap up here as you can see. Dow is trying or the diamonds trying to gap up just slightly right now dow futures are pointing to about a 73 point rally and we continue to be challenged on the s p 500 by the resistance of that breakout high but let's take a look at the technicals here if we take a look price action in the chart remains extremely bullish there's really nothing about this chart that suggests any bearishness at this point however we do continue to show just some uncertainty out there in the market you can notice that our volumes continue to, to decline we seem to just be having a little bit of a struggle to thrive here in the market notice that we've broken through some resistance here in the chart we still have resistance above to deal with in the diamonds considerable resistance above and we were challenged by that last week but as you can see, we, we aren't in any kind of a bad pattern. As a matter of fact, this consolidation remains quite bullish. The bulls are obviously still in control. And if we take a look at the technicals um, of the chart, moving averages wise, you can see our 50 well above our 200 day moving average. And we're starting to um, continue to build that case of a very strong bullishness. However, I do want to point out that possibility that we have stretched this a little far and that very real possibility. Notice how we, we stretch away and we tend to come back to test that 50 day moving average so as we continue to stretch this higher we have to always remember those bears still are lurking around out there and that possibility of that pullback at any point in time is something we want to pay attention to and remember that uh, the bears although they have been largely uh, declawed by the fed they still exist and they will continue to um to lurk about and could attack at any time so let's watch for those closely for the clues of that potential attack at any time however i think it is very unlikely that we see any kind of a meaningful selling or profit taking in the market until we get a new breakout or a new record high institutions really love those new record highs and they love to display their new hats when when a market reaches that new high and i just can't imagine that we're going to get this close and they're going to allow any kind of meaningful sell-off until that record has occurred so watch that closely now we have a very bullish pattern here in the SPY. We continue to remain challenged by this resistance. But nothing in here suggests bearishness um, yet. So keep an eye on that chart. We do have considerable uncertainty in the market that we're dealing with. You know, for example, we, we do know that now stimulus is delayed. We don't know when or if 
that will come about. We certainly have pandemic impacts continuing to rise as we hear, um, you know, move toward um, massive potential layoffs in the airline industry if more bailout money isn't made available here soon. We have um, uh, an election coming up that just continues to become more and more contentious and and, uh, derisive in the country. So lots of things out there, not to mention the rising tensions between U.S. and China. So we've got some uncertainty out there to deal with. And as we continue to climb this wall of worry, let's just remember that um, markets um, typically find a pullback point. And that could occur at any time. But I don't want to suggest that that's likely to occur um, today or anytime soon. I think, I really do believe there is a almost a certainty that we're going to break this resistance and they're going to institutions are going to push for everything that they've got to to make that occur and then after that we'll have to keep a real close eye on that price action and see what happens next let's take a look at um, the nasdaq now the nasdaq i don't know how many new record highs have we made this year 32 33 on the nasdaq there's nothing about the nasdaq chart right now that isn't bullish however we are continuing to see just that little bit of weakness in the market I'm just going to call it with um, a few uncertainty um, things in that NASDAQ and we were challenged by this resistance high notice that little shooting star top but we haven't given up anything here yet the bulls are not going to give this up and i think that push through is still very likely so watch that carefully nasdaq continues to hold up well and our technicals in these charts couldn't be better except for the fact that we may be a little bit well not even a little bit we're quite stretched out here in this index and a rest or pullback seems very likely in the near future here on the uh, NASDAQ. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM has enjoyed a nice little rally up here recently largely helped by oil sector and financials and we're back up here we're pushing into some resistance levels in the chart notice our 50-day moving average is now crossed up through the 200 we still have a 500 day that we need to cross up through so we still have some resistance challenges to deal with in here but things are certainly improving and this is a very very bullish chart overall in the nasdaq let's take a look at the vix now the vix continues to be a little bit perplexing we are at new record highs now typically when we see markets breaking to those new record highs we see the vix all the way down in here We're, we usually see 10 12 15 handles here in the vix something like that instead of 22 handles that means that there's still that palpable uncertainty out there that we're trying to deal with now notice that our 50-day moving average is close to crossing down through that 200 day even though moving averages are a little bit um weird to follow i i guess um on the vix because of the the volatility that, that it represents but um, if you notice, our trends, our patterns here continue to just kind of drift along and, and struggle along. Now, if I mark a, put a couple lines on here, you can see I've marked um, some price support levels in here in the chart. And notice we just seem to struggle. We can't seem to break down below that 500-day moving average. We're, we just struggle and struggle. We attack and attack and attack, but can't seem to quite get her done to break that down and so we're going to want to stay on our toes here uh, the the very real potential um of any one of these potential events out there whether it be pandemic election uh, china whatever um, could easily um, bring that fear back into the market so let's watch that close but let's also remember that we continue to remain in a downtrend so nothing terrible here just yet just that little bit of uncertainty and a little bit of concern is why we're holding up here around 20 handles <laughs> 
when the market is, um, you know, NASDAQ at new record highs and S&P 500 about to make those new record highs, what's the uncertainty here that's creating all of this volatility? Well, obviously, um, we're going to have to stay on our toes um, and watch that closely because we may not be as bullish as the market wants us to to believe in the price action there's just those clues out there suggesting we have to be really on our toes and be careful let's take a look at t2122 which is the four week new high new low ratio and you can take a look at this we have had a pullback the last few days here in the market and that what that means is even though we've held up overall in the market we've had very few companies actually rallying they've either been in sideways consolidations or even pulling back the majority of the market there's been a few stocks namely the big techs that have been able to hold this market um, relatively high and we have given ourselves a little bit of room in here if we can get that bullish push in the market and i suspect we will sometime this week we'll find some reason to push this up um we can we do have some room up here now to move so maybe to break into that uh, new record high in the spy gave us a little bit of room for that um, if they push in the right places so taking a look at this you can see we are still quite elevated up here however and if we push back up into this area we run that risk that at any point in time we could see that selling wave come into the market so watch that closely we're kind of pushed out of shape here a very very elevated in a lot of the metrics here in the market we're just going to have to stay on our toes let's take a look at t20 2101, which is the absolute breadth indicator. And as you can see, absolute breadth has been rallying back up. But one thing that's quite noticeable is that downtrend and that we started to turn on Friday a little bit lower. We're going to want to watch that pretty closely if we continue to rise on declining volume and market breadth. Um, we're going to um, possibly see uh, an, an interesting divergence um, starting to shape up. Markets at new record highs, not so much on market breadth. So kind of keep that, we have that divergence going on that we'll want to stay focused to. That possibility, just that the bears are out there waiting for something to potentially um, uh, mount an attack. We'll just have to stay focused. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. Um, we do have a few things on the economic calendar that we'll want to consider. Now, I don't expect this to be any kind of major concern on the economic calendar today, but as you can see, we, whoops, up grabbing the wrong thing as you can see we have um, empire state manufacturing here at 8 30 that can move us around a little bit but it's not one of those big cr critical reports housing market index is also in there and then later on today treasury international i wouldn't expect anything on that keep in mind that we do have several big things coming up we have housing starts we have the fomc minutes coming out on wednesday that always can create some turbulence in the market um, of course jobless claims philly fed pmi and existing home sales this week just to name a few of those big market mover potentials that we have now on the earnings front earnings continue to wind down as we kind of slide through the remainder of this earnings season um, we have a lighter day on earnings in fact we have quite a light week um, of earnings reports but we still have um, several notables a big there will be a big trend of uh, big retail this week with target and walmart and things like that reporting um, but for today we have um, uh, 22 companies reporting earnings today a lot of those are going to be the real small cap companies but we do have some notables here to pay attention to um, take a look at carmart carmart is reporting today and it's kind of an interesting thing look at where we've got the bid ask spreads uh, market makers have opened this thing up 
dramatically here with a bid ass spread um, as we wait for a report here on CarMart. But let's keep a close eye on that. This has been holding up in a pretty strong upside trend. As you can see, we're challenged by some resistance in the chart. And we'll just have to wait and see how that report comes out, um, how that might move along. Take a look at FN. FN is also reporting today. So we'll want to keep an eye on this. This has been in a beautiful upside trend, but we do have this lower high in here that's giving us a little bit of a concern as we head into that earnings report. So keep a close eye. We've got JD. JD will be reporting today, and it looks like it's already reported, gapping up this morning. A little bit of bullishness here in the chart. I'm still going to be challenged by some price resistance in this chart, but JD moving on up here a little bit this morning and NAT um, Nordic American as you can see this is a little tiny guy um, only four dollars and fifty cents so not you can see I'm struggling to uh, come up with uh, big notables um, in this market as we dwindle down but as you can see it's looking to push up just a little bit this morning um, trying to perk up here just a little bit um, on its earnings report. Lots of resistance in that chart. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, but before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube if this is the first time you've seen these videos, and also please click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. Now, lately I've been extremely busy and this little health thing has um, slowed me down here a little bit, but I do have several more training videos that will be posted to YouTube here before too long. Um, thanks for bearing with me on those guys. Those will be out there. Some uh, some good training um, on the way. Um, let's um, also, if you feel like this video is useful to you and helpful, if you could please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. I truly appreciate it. And I apologize last week being so sick, I didn't get a chance to really answer um, those, but I will endeavor to, to, to do better. Um, I do want to let everyone know that I have to go through a series, a battery of tests um, tomorrow. Um, so I will be able to do the morning market prep video, but I will be gone most of the day yesterday going through a series of tests. But all is well. Don't ha No concern. Um, I'll be back on Wednesday and should get back to normal. So apologize for this, but um, we'll get back to normal here soon and I'll be answering those comments. Let's take a look at some stocks that are setting up a few stocks that I've got some notes on and, and um, we'll be watching closely. Take a look at this KLAK. KLAK, pretty decent chart. And as you can see, last week I placed an alert here on this chart, broke through that resistance. Now, although we've had just a little bit of uh, pull back in the market on Friday here. Notice that we're holding in a really nice pattern. So any rest or consolidation over toward this trend just continues to set up upside opportunity here in KLAC. Keep a close eye on that. SWKS is another one that I'm watching pretty closely. This is a beautiful little upside trend. As you can see, move up, pull back to trend, rally up. We're testing that resistance level any rest consolidation over here as we slide toward that trend we want to watch for that opportunity for swks to pop break out and get moving been keeping a pretty darn close eye here on disney and as a matter of fact i did pick up a position in disney and i'm watching this as it consolidates after breaking its overall downtrend here pushing up in this light little consolidation in this chart looking for any kind of opportunity that that may start to perk up here. So watch that closely. Now, please keep in mind that anytime I post a chart in these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Um, and remember that when I own a position like I do in Disney, I can be biased on that. So 
please make sure you do your own due diligence and do your own analysis of these charts uh, before making a decision on any trade. Let's take a look at Masco. Now, Masco has been in a really tight little consolidation, as you can see here. Very, very tight in this chart. And we're holding up in this nice trend. Now, certainly housing or um, uh, building materials, um, housing has been quite strong and um, building has been very, very strong. So let's watch this in here as Masco continues to consolidate over toward this trend. We may want to watch for that opportunity of this breaking through, popping out to the upside. Keep a close eye on that. Take a look at GLW. Uh, Corning has been on a nice run and you can see it's broken a major downtrend here in the chart. Corning looks pretty decent here. Now this is one of those old boring companies, but um, these old boring companies can sometimes be great trades. And with the sales of mobile devices being so strong here recently, um, Corning provides the majority of that glass for that. Watch this little consolidation in here and that opportunity that this fires on through and continues to extend up to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. I apologize, guys. I'm running out of time for this video this morning. Um, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. And thank you for all the comments um you know notes of, of support um uh, while i've been dealing with this little bit of a health problem but you guys you guys are awesome i truly truly appreciate it thank you very much be safe be careful we'll see you right back here bright and early tuesday morning have a good one everyone